Hey, what's going on guys? Shane here with my friend Aaron Swenson. What are we going to be learning today, coach? All right, we're working on landing the lead right hand without getting hit. So when you first start sparring, you're throwing that right hand and it's scary because you're vulnerable. You're closer to your opponent. So I'm going to show you how to land that punch without getting hit and avoiding the counter. Cool. Let's take a look. All right, guys, if you're practicing on a heavy bag, here's a couple tips. I want you to start a little bit further than arms width away. Okay, so now you're gonna have to step in. Now when you step with that lead leg, you have to step up with the back leg too to keep your feet shoulder width. We see a lot of this. When your feet are too wide, you can't shift your weight from leg to leg, okay? So this is no bueno. So when you step with the lead leg, make sure you pull that back foot up with it. Now from here, you can practice your jam. Keeping your head to the right of the bag or keeping your head to the left of the bag. The head should stay out of the center line. Here's a few. You can also roll back. Now when you first start sparring, it's kind of nerve wracking throwing your right hand because when you shift your weight forward, you're vulnerable, right? When my weight's on the back leg, I'm safe here because I have a lot of time to see the punches coming. But when I put my weight on the lead leg, that's when I'm getting blasted essentially, okay? So when you throw the right hand, you're taking a risk. So we're gonna talk about a couple different ways to throw that right hand and not get hit. So I'm gonna throw the lead right hand. I'm stepping up with the back foot. Bang! Now from here, I'm not gonna stay in that medium range. I'm gonna step in and jam, so I'm too close. So I'm either too far with my weight on the back leg, or I'm too close as I jam. But I don't wanna stay in that medium range because that's when you're getting blasted. Now when you jam, you can jam to the outside, or you can jam to the inside. Now this works especially good if my opponent's a southpaw, so if Shane switches his stance, and I throw that lead right hand, bang, I'm gonna jam to the outside of his power punch. So it works in both ways. If you watch Floyd Mayweather, he'll jam this way, and he'll also jam this way, but he's never in that medium range. Okay, so if I throw that lead right hand, and Shane moves backwards, now I'm in that medium range, now I'm vulnerable again. So I can't jam him, he's too far away. So now I'm just gonna roll right back to my angle where I started. That's a great way to get to your back leg. So let's break it down one more time. Your weight's either too far back where you're long range, you can see the punches coming, or you're too close where you're jamming and not getting hit. But we're trying to stay away from that punch range, also known as that hula hoop range. Yeah, Trevor Wibben talks about the hula hoop range, right? If you put your arms out in front of you, this is that hooking range, your power shot range. So that's what Aaron wants to avoid being in that range. So he's either outside of it, or he's inside of it, underneath of the shots, or away from the power hand. All right, guys, there you have it. The right hand is your power hand if you're an orthodox fighter, but you can't just rely on power. You need to have some sort of defensive exit strategy after you throw that punch, and here's a couple that you can practice. Guys, check it out. Aaron is opening up his own gym in Santa Monica. Tell us a little bit about that. So we're gonna start with a small studio where we do six-person classes, an opportunity to really learn the sweet science. You know, it's hard to learn in those big fitness boxing classes. Check me out on my website, the link's below. I'm Shane, this is Aaron. Fight tips for the underdogs.